what's up guys and welcome back to the Travis Bros channel and today I'm excited to bring you another installment in the Hawaii hiker guide series that's right I'm gonna be doing a whole series on all the hikes all the waterfalls all the swimming spots that you need to see when you come to Hawaii so without further ado we are going to jump right into it I am taking you on not one but two of my favorite spots today first we're gonna go to a little swimming pool um, and it's not just a pool so don't worry and then we are going to go on a nice small little hike that leads us to a very pleasant waterfall with maybe a rock slide if you're lucky so i'm excited to bring you to those spots and hopefully you get to experience it like i have when you come to hawaii so we need to get going first things first is i'm gonna need to grab some breakfast we're gonna pack up a bag and then we are gonna get out of here so let's go let's get to it let's get out So right behind me is Cromwell Beach. That is our first stop for today. It's a pretty hidden gem. Basically, I don't think a lot of people know about it. So I'm gonna take you to my personal favorite secret part, which is like not a secret, but a secret because it's Hawaii. That's one of the troubles of vlogging on your own is I have to set the tripod up in the middle of the road and then cars come and they're like honking and stuff, so. So once you come down this little entryway, you actually already enter Cromwell Beach. So this is Cromwell Beach. However, there's a few parts to this. So if you go down the stairs and to the right, it actually opens up to a nice little beach area for lounging. So I'm actually going to take a left and then I'm going to follow this little broken path all the way down and around the bend. It's going to come to an opening and that's where this really calm pool is and I never really see more than a handful of people. And that's really exciting, especially at a high traffic place like Hawaii. So I hope that encourages you to get out and find this spot right here. stairways for you to enter in to the actual ocean um, it's really like picturesque something really pretty and there's just a bunch of spots that you can come and kind of chill out and be at your own personal beach which I think is really nice but we still have more walk to go so keep following me so as you can see behind me that is the pool that I love coming to so this is Cromwell Beach and this is the pool at Cromwell Beach. If it has a name, I will put it down below. I'll tell you how to get here. Again, this is one of my favorite spots. I come here all the time, um, and I just come here to sit out. I'll come here to have a meal. Well guys, that is Cromwell Beach. This is the secret pool at Cromwell Beach. If it does have a name, I will put that down below. And for being such an easy spot to get to, there are never any people here. I'm here midday. And there's no one here. It's just me and you guys. My recommendation is to bring a picnic, bring some water, uh, maybe a book and some music and just kind of sit out and enjoy the sound of the ocean, get in a little bit and just have fun. This is a very nice chill spot.
way to our next destination. That one's gonna be a bit more of a hike, so we gotta get after it while we still have the sun. Let's get to it. Few moments later. Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to the second location, the second hike. This is gonna be a twofer, like I said earlier. This is Jackass Ginger Pool, or otherwise known as Judd Trail. A relatively easy hike, it's about 0.8 miles all the way around. It does just kinda go in, loops around, and then comes right back out. Once you get here, all you have to do is park along the side of the road, uh, just make sure you're out of the way of the cars and the flow of traffic and you should be good. It's, it's an incredibly rewarding hike. It's very easy. There are lovely signs pointed in every which direction to tell you where to go. And one of the cool things about this hike is that it actually links together with a bunch of other trails. So you don't have to just do Judd Trail. You can do a few others. I don't quite remember their names, but I can put those down in the description below if you are interested. I feel like the next thing you need to be aware of is that it is a very muddy hike. It does get super muddy here. Um, it does rain a lot, there's a lot of flash flood warnings, so please be careful, bring some good shoes, shoes that you don't mind getting muddy, and just embrace the mud. All right, well we have made it to Jackass Ginger Pool, or as it's otherwise referred to, Judd Trail. It's very beautiful, it's a nice well-kept secret, and as always, it's gonna stay that way because, well, nobody watches this vlog. There's a place where you can rock slide, there's a place where you can jump off, as long as it's deep enough, you wanna check that. Before you go in, I'm gonna get to it and we'll see you guys out there. So again, this is what I think of when I talk about Judd Trail. It's something very peaceful all to yourself, and it really gives a true nature of Hawaii. This is just a really magnificent spot to come. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this hike. I'm Doug from the Travage Bros, reminding you to stay true, to stay humble, and above all, to stay average.